everyone, this is Minstrel Monks. Welcome back to Don't Starve. We are getting ready to shave our beefalo come nightfall. Before then, I'm going to gather a lot of grass. That's a resource that we are a bit short on. We can go down and get some. Uh, full moon is a really great time to shave beefalo because you can wander between the herds if, if need be. Oh, hey, uh, Chester, do you have... Oh, no, I don't have room to carry anything else. Oh, except I can stack that together. Um, you know what? I think maybe really low on hunger. So I'm going to go ahead and cook monster meat. Let's cook both of them. This also gives me a little bit more room in my inventory. These, uh, let's see. We're going to move a couple things. Uh, move this up because that's full. And I suppose I could move that. Oh, actually, just I right hear poop. Oh, so poop is. Oh, come here, Chest. Come here, Chester! Okay, now that's full. Okay, so now I have two slots. I should have gotten you. Yep, two bone shards. No, I do not want to have this hammer in my hand. Alright. Let me just leave that shovel there. I always end up with these two shovels. Okay. Ah, uh, grass. We were going to... Oh, but we're actually just close to nightfall. So, come up here to the big group. Guys up here. Only one poop for all of you. Hey guys, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Little people. I'm going to shave you. All that itchy fur is coming off. Lovely beefalo. I'm going to shave you all. So usually you can put a campfire down and you can shave all the beefalo that you can see. But because it is full moon, I can just wander around in the dark. And just continue shaving some beefalo. There's going to be more, more beefalo wool than I know what to do with. Am I going to be able to get any more? I know that there's more beefalo around. Ah, here we go. Ooh, I might be able to get like a ton of beefalo for... Come on, chase. Then I'll go pick it all up in the morning. Wow, I got them all shaved. That is pretty awesome. They're going to look so pitiful in the morning. Move. Want your beefalo wool and your beefalo boots. I'm not going to need beefalo wool again for, like, forever. Okay, I just have to be able to pick it up. These guys are, like, protecting their wool for some reason. Okay. Did I get it all? How much wool did I pick up? Where's the wool? 18. That sounds right. 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, 18 is correct. Uh, so now I'm going to trade that out with something because I need to be able to... Okay, Chester, open up. So I can make sure I pick up all the wool in the world. Okay. Anywhere. Look at all this beefalo wool. It's awesome. It's three pieces of wool per beefalo. That's how I knew I'd picked up all of it. 
21. No. Okay. Chester? Uh, I watch my hunger, I'm getting low. It's just so exciting, all of this wool. Yeah, I'm not gonna need Bevelo wool for like the rest of the game. <laughs> I say that. I say that. I probably will need more Bevelo wool, but you know. Still, it's yeah. nice. And I've got a lot of poops. I've got uh, 23 poops. So that's gonna do me poop wise for quite a bit too. So we are looking good on that front. Uh, we definitely need more grass, but um, at 11 hunger, I definitely need to be. Um, oh, getting home. Apparently, I have 40 twigs, which that's good. So I might. Oh, I'm up more. Got a little bit turned around. Exactly where I live. So we are gonna go up here. Oh, and I'm still slightly yeah, turned. There we go. Go away, birdie. Come back in a bit. Okay. Drop this off. And... Okay, Jester. Drop off some... Oops, some wool. Uh, Bomber, you can hang out here. No, you can't. Um, I'm thinking back. You can hang out. Come here. You can hang out here. Chester, I want you to come down here a little bit, bud. Not quite that far. Come on. I wish I could control Chester just a little bit better. And I have trouble moving him around. Okay, come here. Go sideways a little bit. There we go. That's a good spot for you. Drop him down. And I need to get out some meat, make some food, post haste. That's okay, I got a lot of food to be making. Okay, and do I still have room in my chest? I do for that. Alright, well that is going. Let's go check my traps. Okay, there are actually already morsels. They're kind of getting low on the uh, um, rotting scale, but that's okay. I'm really looking to uh, cook them or dry them very quickly. Whoops, come on. Go. This. I do want to get some farms going as well. So we have 24 grass right now. And we got some of uh, let's see. Go ahead and eat a meatball before I perish. Cook some more. Those. Now let's see. Do I have enough? I might have just enough rocks for... A nice little farm. Yeah. Can't tell if it's green or not. I think it is. Yeah. We're gonna plant. I think I got enough for a second farm. Yep. And plant. Got this. Another one. And we're gonna try one. At some point we will actually get up to full hunger. We are very close to being full hunger. Finally. Very close. This is where that geo placement comes in place, into play. Okay, so oops, wrong way. Rotating. Yeah. 
Like a couple rows of berry bushes. I picked up, I think, 18 of the night, so I have almost 20 that I can put down. I'm not sure exactly how much rot I have at the moment. That. And then we're going to go get some clockworks. Um, but next on our list, we need to put down our spiders. And spiders will ch uh, attack Glomer, I believe, but they're not going to attack Chester. We've got that whole group of spiders right down there, which is awesome. And I need some more um, stone. And I need some silk. And I need clockwork. So that is going to be one of our places to go. But let's go plant our very own spider egg. Because he comes with a spider egg. The one that's not too far away. We'll kind of start our own spider clan. I don't want to be right in camp because they'll, they'll go after Glomer, I think. They're not going to go after Chester, though. So that's nice. More. Oop. And as long as the fire is in the fire pit, it's not going to catch anybody on fire. So that's cool. Yeah, we're down to one stone. Okay, I'm going to store our razor. Take this and make some paper. I think we can go ahead and make a bird cage. Do we have things for making bird cage? I do. I just need my gold. Make a bird cage. I'm not gonna put it down yet, I just made it. I don't have what I need for a bird nest or a bird uh, trap yet. I need one more silk. Now, I have any meat? No, but I have two meatballs and a thing. Alright. How much wood do I have? I have four wood. I can make. Campfire. That in my inventory. This. Drop this. Drop this. And drop this. Okay. Um. Oh, and actually, this these need to rot. Oh, speaking of rot, I forgot to fertilize. Come here. That's really silly. These things aren't going to do anything if they don't fertilize. And I have more of these to plant. Okay. Open up Chester and take these and these. I don't have enough to fertilize everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and get them planted. Now there's all kinds of things you can use. You can use poops to fertilize, but I want to use them for my um, farms. And you can make buckets of poop where you use less poop to um, fertilize. Uh, but I would rather... Let's see, I'm trying to imagine a flingo. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I'm bad at imagining flingos. I have never made it through summer, so, you know. I 
All right. Let's see. So we are going to go head down towards Spiderville and uh, see about attacking some of these clockworks. All right, Chester, you're definitely not getting in this fight. Can you hang out here? Unquip this. Oh, I should unequip this. My hat. Things have durabilities, and I totally... All right, everybody's going to get mad at me and come at me. But I just got to watch my health. Two years. Oh, his attack hurt. His attack really hurt. Okay. Okay, so I got four gears. Hey guys, come on. Let's go play with some spiders. Got rid of the guys with the uh, distance attack. Oh, hey, thanks. Ouch. Get him, guys, get him. I love having spiders fight for me. You can actually create spider armies. And they'll, you know, take them with you to go fight lots of big bad minis. Um, wow, ten gears already. Uh, okay. A little bit of my health back. Not a lot of health. It's only a small thingy, but, uh. Up a little. Store that, store that. Let me go ahead and pick up the marble that's here. And we know where those bishops are, which means there's four more um, gears. So it's one gear per refrigerator and two gears per flingomatic. So I could use eight gears for four flingos if, if, if I've built my area really badly and need four flingos to, to cover everything. And I would still have currently two gears for two fridges. Um, I'm going to need three come spring. But I would also have four more so I could build just... A lot more stuff. So, let's go and do that. This. This. Okay. But now. Just here. I am going to create a bird trap. I'm gonna put it down. We have birds hanging out with us all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and bait it. You don't have to bait it, but I found it tends to be faster and that was immediate. Look at that. Oh, I don't have time to check my traps. Ooh, a lot of wood. Okay, so now we can put down a bird cage. And we're gonna put the bird cage down right here. We're going to imprison the bird. And I'm going to take Yeah, I'm going to pick up this monster meat. I'm going to give it to the bird. Unlike Don't Starve Together, you can feed your birds at night with... Don't starve. One egg. 
One veggie. One meat. Oh, and I don't have a filler. I will have to find a filler. Oh. Actually. Watermelon will work. Oh, will it? Yes. Should. It should give me a pierogi. Do I hear spiders? I might actually hear spiders. Spider nets might be close enough for me to hear. Okay. Pumpkin? Yeah, I think it's going to be appropriate. It's taking long enough to cook. Okay, and yes, pierogi. This is going to give me a lot of health back. Boop. Um, actually, let me take this back. I need gold. Oh, you know what? I do not have. I do not have rocks. That was one of the things we talked about getting, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so next episode, we are going to go and we're going to go get uh, some wood because we're about out. And we're going to go get some stone and we're going to make refrigerators. And that will start getting us set up for autumn or winter because we only have eight days left. We want to try and get as much food stored up as we can and ready for winter. So let me know what you think. Uh, sound off in the comments. What are the most important things that you get set up for winter before the cold, bitter winter hits? And thank you for joining us and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.